Welcome to this exciting episode of NX Daily Top 5 Sports. On number 5, Ted Potter Jr. won the second PGA Tour title with a three-shot victory in the Pebble Beach Pro-Am. The 34-year-old won his previous title in 2012, chipped in for birdie on the 7th and paired to the last 11th for a 3-under 69 and 17 on the total. Fellow American Philip Michelson was joined second with Chez Ravier and Australia's Jason Day. World number one Dustin Johnson, joint overnight leader with Potter, birdied the last to also finish on 14 under. Potter made a never start with a three put boji from inside 20 feet on the opening hole, but birdied on the second, fourth, sixth, and seventh saw him pull away from the field. Moving up at number 4, Chelsea manager Antonio Conte admits that he is a bit of a disaster when it comes to convincing the club's board to sign new players. The Premier League champions failed to make any big signing in the January transfer window and the 48-year-old Italian says he needs to be more persuasive. I have to speak more with the managers who are very, very good at persuading the clubs to spend money to buy top players, he said. I think in this aspect, I can improve a lot. I have to learn a lot from other coaches and other managers in that aspect. Conte said in January that he was happy at Chelsea, playing down reports that his relationship with owner Roman Abramovich has become strained. Moving up at number 3, Manchester United manager Jose Mourinho was totally wrong when he said Newcastle played for draw and relied on luck to beat his side on Sunday. The only thing Mourinho was right about in his post-match interview was that the Magpies players worked incredibly hard for their victory. Rafa Bente's side totally deserved to win because they defended better than Manchester United. They dominated the midfield and they did what United could not do, which was score, says former Newcastle striker Alan Scherrer. Moving up at number 2. Barcelona failed to score for the first time in the La Liga this season as Getafe picked up a hard fourth point at the new camp. The hosts remain unbeaten in the league and has seven points above second place Atletico Madrid. Felipe Coutinho and Lionel Messi both forced saves from Getafe keeper Vincent Guetta, who was joining Crystal Palace on a free transfer this summer. Gary Mina, making his league debut for Barcelona, headed a chance just wide. Getafe, who moved into the top half, almost got a winner with the last kick as Vitonio Antunes' 30-yard free kick was tipped over the bar by Marc Andre. With no time for a corner kick to be taken, later on Sunday, Valencia came from behind to beat Lavente 3-1 and move above Real Madrid onto third place. Top in today's NX Daily Top 5 Sports. On number 1, Southampton's manager Mauricio Pellegrino claimed the biggest defeat his side suffered in their loss to Liverpool was a character we show in the second half. Liverpool moved to within two points from the second place. Manchester United, after goals from Roberto Firmino and Mohamed Salah, secured a comfortable victory. Brazil forward Firmino gave Liverpool an early lead with his 20th goal for the season when he finished off a counter-attack after being teed up by Salah. Southampton then twice brought saves out of Reds goalkeeper Loris Carris before Liverpool added a second through Salah after he exchanged passes with Firmino. It was the Egypt international's 29th goal of the season for the club from 36 appearances. To get the full juice, check out our website on www.nigc.tv and follow our social media platforms at Nigc TV for the latest updates. <laughs> 